it is so humid. I just feel like I want to wash my hair again. I just washed it, but ran to Publix, got what we needed for like the next few days, got some bananas. Strawberries are in season now, so make sure you get them because they're going to be super sweet and good. Got some honey crisp apples, have been loving these with like peanut butter and little mini chocolate chips. And then we've been obsessed with chocolate covered strawberries. So got some of those just to have on hand. For dinner tonight, we're just gonna do fish and like keep it super simple. So I got Ryan's salmon and I'm gonna try these haddock loins. I know I like, um, I like every fish but salmon but I didn't see anything at the seafood counter that looked good. So we're gonna try these. It does say they're wild caught, so. And then some iceberg lettuce. I wanna make these little shortcut cherry cheese Danish like pastries that I usually get from the German bakery. So I got some puff pastry, some cream cheese, and I'm sure this stuff is horrible for you, but some cherry pie filling it's called. Um, and we're gonna make little cherry cheese danishes probably this morning and then got some stuff to make caprese salads for lunch and then i don't know why but i've just been craving gummy candy so i got these jolly rancher bites and then some little nerds clusters for us to snack on and then it's girl scout season so couldn't pass that up they said it was their last weekend too, so I'm glad I caught them on the weekend. But Ryan likes Thin Mints and Tagalongs. I like Samoas, so those are for me. He doesn't like those, but I think that's everything. I'm gonna put it away. We've been watching Breaking Bad and we're almost done. I think we have like two episodes left, so we're probably gonna just lounge for the next hour and a half or however long it takes us to watch those so we can finish that. And then I really need to get my life together today. It was another really long week of work last week. And I'm also looking at buying a standing desk and a um, like walking pad to put under it because I'm tired of sitting. I literally sat from like nine to five in calls literally all day, no joke, 15 minute break in the entire day. So I wanna look at that today too, do some spring cleaning and just, we gotta get things moving around here because it just makes my week a little bit easier. Hi you guys, happy Monday. This weekend I just like totally fell off. We ended up yesterday after I went grocery shopping, we did a bunch of stuff outside, just like homeowner things, taking care of stuff. Um, we're hooking up the trailer to like my Jeep brake lights and just like a whole bunch of random stuff that wasn't very fun. And then we ended up just ordering dinner because it ended up getting really late and I just did not feel like cooking, to be honest. So today was a work day. It's kind of like my Monday little reset day laundry. I got a lot of stuff done this morning i like a lot of stuff but i got the bathrooms cleaned and almost all the laundry done now i just need to fold to put the bed back together and then i think i want to vacuum tonight if i don't get to it tonight i'll just do the rest of that stuff tomorrow and today was like a less stressful day at work still super busy but not like an urgent type of busy so that was nice did i've kind of switched to doing my workout after work and i kind of like switching it up a little bit sometimes i feel like i just don't have the energy in the morning so i did that and then i just took a quick body shower and honestly i was going to get right back into getting some stuff done but i'm gonna cook dinner really quick because i'm starving and i feel like i'm just gonna lose energy really fast if i don't eat first so we're just gonna make what I was supposed to make last night, which was fish. So I'm gonna bake that in the oven. I have these like little baby gold potatoes I'm gonna cut up and season as a side. And then I think I have a bag of green beans that I didn't end up using last week that I will roast alongside of that. And that'll be it. I'll make rice for Ryan, but I'm gonna do that later because it's not getting home till later today. So I'm gonna start cutting up everything and get it thrown in the oven i love making this like during the weekday because it's just super quick like a couple sides and a piece of fish just season it up and we are good to go
Dinner is done, literally like the quickest and easiest thing. Love doing this for dinner. Probably did a little too much fish, but we'll just see how hungry I am. And then I do, when I make these like type of bowls, I put this garlic dip on the side, so good. What? I'm not talking to you. Um, and then for the fish, I just did like a Dijon, a little bit of honey and a bunch of spices as the little topping. And I just baked this at 400 degrees. Obviously I like it a little bit crispier when I bake stuff, but I'm so excited. I'm gonna go sit on the couch and eat this. Probably put a show on or something. And then I need to get up and move in and get some stuff done. look for some new blue light glasses i think these are like so overly large but i love them when i'm doing computer work all day i am definitely scratching making anything else tonight i am just tired i finished the laundry and i cleaned up the kitchen and i think i'm just gonna sit down on the computer there was a couple things that i wanted to look at i think i mentioned earlier i'm gonna look at getting a standing desk like one that you can move and a walking pad so that i can walk more during the day like when i'm on calls and just sending a bunch of emails for hours at a time i think it'll just help improve my overall day to day and how i feel working from home i love working from home don't don't get me wrong but um it just helped me get more movement in because i'm always super busy at work there's like never a week that it's super light and I think it'll just improve like my mood during the day, you know? Anything to help with how you're feeling, especially when it's like so ingrained in your routine, obviously, to work. So I'm gonna sit down and probably just surf on the computer a little bit. I feel like this vlog was kind of all over the place. Um, I'm trying to think coming up, I think this Friday, my mom and I are going to the Flower and Garden Festival at Epcot, so that'll be super fun. It's always beautiful with the flowers and the topiaries, and then obviously all the little food and drinks that we get. And then I think Saturday, Ryan has a motorcycle thing that we're going to, like a actual event. And I think we're getting into some good beach weather. This past weekend, it rained and was just cloudy when we went to the market, so it just was not a good beach weekend. So hopefully in the next coming weeks, we'll be finally getting outside and on the beach. I'm really looking forward to that. Louis is playing with his catnip toy. He's been extra playful lately. I think, I'm thinking it's maybe because I kind of put him on, not a diet, but he was overeating just because um, like I'm putting food down for two cats. So I've been super meticulous about watching and ensuring he's only eating what he's supposed to. And I feel like it's really increased his mood. I'm happy that that's working. He does seem to be leaner also. Um, and it's just, it's good to see him a little bit more, you know, filled with energy as he gets older. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, my next vlogs, I'll make sure that actually doing stuff. Unfortunately, I feel like some weekends that you just get derailed because you kind of start doing stuff and it's not always fun stuff all of the adulting things, but I hope you guys are doing well and I will see you in my next swap. I put my PJs on, but since I didn't make anything, this is gonna be dessert tonight. These are my favorite. I feel like you love these or you hate these, but these are my mom and I's favorites. I was a Girl Scout way back in the day. And I feel like these are, like there's so many kinds now. I'm just grab a little paper towel. There's so many kinds. And now that I didn't like grow up having, these are definitely the classics with like the Thin Mints. I'm really not a Thin Mint fan, which I know is totally probably crazy because everybody loves them. And I like mint and chocolate, but just not in a cookie, yet, I guess. I don't know. These definitely take the cake. 